and we're back at this job. It looks a bit different now. That's a, that's a big effing pig. Oh, there you go. <laughs> Down. Well, that thing that took us about 10 hours to do, but there you go. morning. It's Saturday the 7th. Yes. And we're back at this job. It looks a bit different now. So we're just here to do the patching up now. Now that the, uh, all the roof's set up. So get the bits of block in, bits of brick. And then we're getting the pike built here. So this is coming down up to the lintel. Putting the lintel, put a better lintel in a new spot. And same over there. Yeah, definitely looks a bit different. Uh, I want to show you this though, that we noticed last time. So there's there's the, uh, the bed that the timber's sitting on the wall plate. I was just walking across. That's, uh, that's a big effing pig. I said in the video, the laser level said it was out of level. Yeah. Yeah. So um, I'll be up on the scaffold doing the the um, the setting and measuring. Dad will be doing the cutting for me. I think this is going to have to come down to here at least because that's uh, not very stable. <sighs> yeah. There's a nice steel going all the way across there. Right, right. We're getting all the tools out now, so we'll get set up and then get started. Try and get out of here at a reasonable time. Well, that wasn't doing much, was it? Uh, no. On a piece of fold, oh, There you go. <laughs> Down. There you go. Quality lintel there. Back on. Yeah, which is so we, which one? There's two. Right. That's a little bit better than a flimsy yeah. bit of timber. You get the gist.
Right, we need to step it up a bit here. God, this is all over the place. Just trying to polish the turd as usual. About to put a split in this side to level it up. Got another two courses to bring on. And then it's the concrete, the concrete level, concrete lintel goes over, which is there. And yeah, that's going in at that height on top of that one. Let's level up with that one. So when this floor comes through level, it's going to be got the head height to go into the garage. Um, I need a screw tie now, and I need a couple for there. So I'm going to nip off to the tool station and get them once Alex is out and I've done his cuts for him. So um, that's it. Here he is, the man himself. Let's do this.
Well, that's disappointing. I thought I'd be on there by now. 20 to 4. As you can see, it is awkward. We had to drop all this, clean them up, rebuild all the corners and the pillars and put new lintel in and all the cut-ups. Get this pad stone in, get all the blocks cut round that. I'll get that end done. And it's just low enough. We're just high enough to bang the head. I think around about 11 goes, 11 hits I've had. So we're heading down there now. We've got to make sure we've got everything inside that we need because the scaffold's got to go on the inside. Again, banging our heads. But the patching of the outside can be done from off a ladder because there's not much to it. Probably less than the other, probably less than that side. And then that, that sewing you can hear is Jason. He's supposed to put the kettle on, I'm not sure if he's done it or not. Hey? It's cash today. <laughs> so, we're having a brew and then we're rocking over there. I found an old crutch that I might take it home. You never know, might need it soon. So, yeah, we'll catch you when we've moved over that end. There's a ground level view of it. It's only a little half pike, but that was a lot of work. I think the lintel's gone up three or four courses. And you can see there's a third course down on that side, there's a split in it because it, it was that far out level. The wall didn't line up either, we've had to sort of bend it, bend that pillar back a bit to make everything line up. <sighs> Nothing straight in here, that garage wall's wonky. Oh. If you look at the uh, wall plate up there, it's about 20 mil above there, in that corner. By the time you get to there, it's it's level with the brickwork. By the time you get there, the bed's gone. By the time, so it, it's that again the other end so it's probably about two and a half three inches out of level the house obviously the bit the bits we're doing straight but um yeah let's get this front bit done this is going to be awkward having this door so it's going to be walking around through the house but we just get on with it which we'll do right now Halloween in three weeks it's not today though, is it? <laughs>
six o'clock and it's done. More jigsaw puzzle fanning around, getting all those little pieces put in. See them on the front, which I'll show you, but I'll give you a quick look at all of them. There's I'll show you at the front. There you go. We've got thing that took us about 10 hours to do, but there you go. Still got all the packing up to do, but I'm going to sign out now so we can just get all this done. So, thank you all very much for watching. If you enjoyed, be sure to give us a like. And if you're new to the channel you want to see more, be sure to hit subscribe and tap on that bell. That way you always know when you always get notified when we get uploaded. When we upload. It's a massive help and we appreciate the support. Any added support you wish to give, you can use the super thanks option just under the video. And there's a link to Dad's PayPal in the uh, description. Not necessary, but greatly appreciated either way. So thank you all very much. This has been Prickling with Steve and Alex with a very sluggish triple pike. We'll see you in the next one.